Surprisingly, contrary to expectations, new revelations indicate that parts of S-31 on the other side of the world are the first Starship components to be recovered. Well, what's next? Meanwhile, SpaceX has achieved an incredible milestone with Falcon 9. Next, we'll dive into the details of China's ambitious plan for its first crewed mission to the moon. Let's explore all of this on today's episode of Great SpaceX. It's been two weeks since Flight 6, and while anticipation builds for the next mission, there's also significant interest in the recovery efforts for Flight 6's key components, Booster 13 and Ship 31. Both achieved what are considered successful landings, sparking curiosity about their current statuses. For B-13, we've shared numerous updates in previous episodes, and it seemed logical to assume it would be recovered first. However, that assumption was mistaken. While updates on B-13's recovery have been scarce, significant progress has been made with S-31. Thanks to my partner Interstellar Gateway, we now have a wealth of images and videos providing insights into S-31's recovery. I'd like to take a moment to thank their team for their dedication and exceptional work. Their efforts have allowed us and the broader SpaceX community to gain a better understanding of this complex process. If you're watching this, consider giving their team a follow on X and subscribing to their YouTube channel to encourage them to continue producing high-quality content. The recent published images reveal key components of S-31, including its COPV tanks and heat shield tiles. This evidence suggests that while S-31 achieved a remarkable landing, it was not entirely intact. These parts were recovered by the Limitless ship, which returned to port in Australia on November 23rd, just four days after Flight 6. Before the mission, Limitless and its companion ship Bogwan Renegade were deployed from Australia to the planned landing site. Their initial role was to record S-31's landing in daylight conditions. After the landing, the vessels monitored the ship for approximately 27 hours before commencing the recovery process. Analyzing the hardware, the images show between 4 to 8 COPV tanks in excellent condition, demonstrating their potential for reuse in future missions. Additionally, a bag containing heat shield tiles was recovered. Observations indicate that these tiles, particularly those from the nose cone, remained remarkably intact highlighting the effectiveness of SpaceX's recent upgrades. Based on footage of workers inspecting the tiles, it appears that they were glued rather than pinned, a design choice that may have contributed to their resilience. Other components have also been recovered, but they remain tightly packed, making their specific identities unclear. Once these parts arrived at Exmouth Port in Australia, they were loaded onto trucks and transported to an initial research facility. It's likely they'll eventually be sent to Starbase for more extensive study. The data collected from these components will be invaluable in refining future prototypes. Despite these successes, the goal of recovering S-31 as an intact vehicle was not realized. When Renegade returned to Onslow Port, Australia on November 24th, it was equipped with a fender designed to help tow intact ships, but carried no trace of S-31, not even debris. This suggests that the attempt to recover S-31 as a whole was unsuccessful. However, large sections of S-31 may still be salvageable. Based on its post-landing conditions, it's reasonable to hope that components like the nose cone or the aft section, which houses the payload bay, flaps, and engines, could still be recovered. The presence of unloading facilities at the Australian port further supports this possibility. Looking ahead, we're eager for further updates from SpaceX about how S-31's parts will be returned and studied. Similarly, hopes remain high for B-13's recovery, especially given its closer proximity to SpaceX's operations compared to S-31. If recovered soon, B-13 could play a significant role in advancing Starship upgrades. In the broader context, SpaceX's recovery pro Progress, recovery progress, SpaceX's recovery progress is laying the foundation for full reusability of Starship. Future missions will likely bring SpaceX closer to its goal of towing entire ships back to land for reuse. Flight 7 is expected to include another ocean landing, providing an additional opportunity to refine recovery methods. If successful, this could pave the way for SpaceX to attempt catching ships directly with the tower, a milestone confirmed by Elon Musk, we will do one more ocean landing of the ship. If that goes well, then SpaceX will attempt to catch the ship with the tower. If you share our excitement about SpaceX's advancements, reply yes in the comments. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's development journey. Your support has been instrumental in helping us surpass 153,000 subscribers, a significant milestone. However, we've noticed that many viewers have not yet subscribed, so we encourage you to join us as we aim for 200,000 subscribers before the new year. Your support not only motivates our team, but also ensures you receive timely updates about SpaceX and the aerospace industry. Together, let's continue to follow SpaceX as they push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. Thank you for being part of this incredible journey. On November 26th, at precisely 11.41 p.m. Eastern, SpaceX achieved another monumental milestone with the Falcon 9. Launching from Launch Complex 39A in Florida, the mission deployed 24 Starlink satellites into orbit. Just over an hour after liftoff, the satellites were successfully released, marking another flawless mission for the Falcon 9 and adding to its incredible legacy. This launch was particularly significant because it represented the Falcon 9's 400th successful mission. SpaceX triumphantly highlighted this milestone on X, posting, Falcon 9 completes its 400th successful mission and Falcon's 375th overall landing. This achievement underscores SpaceX's unmatched dominance in the rocket industry, as 400 successful launches surpass the total flights of most other current rocket families. It also sets a new standard that will be incredibly challenging for any organization to match in the foreseeable future. The Falcon 9 achieved its 400th overall launch on November 24th, just two days before its 375th booster landing. This milestone highlights SpaceX's unmatched launch cadence and operational efficiency. While delays from the FAA and weather conditions postponed the 400th mission, the progress remains extraordinary fulfilling predictions made after the rocket's 300th launch and landing milestones last year. With one month left in 2023, SpaceX has more opportunities to extend Falcon 9's record. Looking forward, the pace is expected to quicken in 2025, potentially allowing the Falcon 9 to reach its 500th successful mission by mid to late 2025. This would further solidify SpaceX's reputation for groundbreaking achievements in space exploration. To sustain and surpass its milestones, SpaceX must focus on system upgrades to ensure stability and reliability. The incidents in July, August, and September, while not failures, underscore the inherent challenges of frequent rocket launches. These events emphasize the need for constant refinement to maintain high-frequency operations. SpaceX's iterative approach to innovation is well-suited to address such challenges, paving the way for even greater efficiency and reliability. Recently, SpaceX celebrated a major achievement, the Falcon 9's 375th successful booster landing. This milestone reaffirms the company's dominance in rocket reusability, a field where it continues to outpace competitors. As SpaceX proudly announced on X, Falcon 9 has landed, completed our 375th overall recovery of an orbital class booster. Rocket reusability remains a hallmark of SpaceX's innovation, with unmatched consistency and reliability. Having achieved 375 booster recoveries to date, the company is poised to reach 500 early in 2025. This milestone underscores SpaceX's dominance in reusable rocketry, a feat others have yet to replicate. Meanwhile, international competition intensifies. On November 21st, China released an animated preview of its crewed lunar mission, featuring its lunar rover Lanyue and operations on the moon. The video showcased astronauts deploying the rover and traversing pre-planned routes, highlighting the Wenchang Satellite Launch Center as a key hub for China's ambitions. As SpaceX advances, the global space race continues to heat up driving innovation and progress on an unprecedented scale. China has updated progress on its Long March 10 rocket, lunar lander, crewed spacecraft, lunar suits, and related tests, reaffirming its goal of a crewed lunar mission by 2030. These advancements heightened the global space race, emphasizing the need for NASA and SpaceX to sustain their momentum. SpaceX, with Starship at the forefront, is pivotal in ensuring the United States maintains its lead in space exploration. NASA's Artemis program and SpaceX's ambitious lunar plans provide a clear strategy to stay ahead. But continued innovation and progress are essential. Recent successes with Falcon 9 and Starship's ongoing development lay a strong foundation to meet these challenges. 
As the competition intensifies, the need for adaptability and innovation remains critical. With SpaceX leading the charge, supported by NASA and other partners, the U.S. is well positioned to dominate this era of space exploration. The next few years promise exciting developments as SpaceX drives humanity's reach into the cosmos to new heights. Well folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.